Hey guys, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well guys, today we're going to do another uh, subscriber request and the question that I got was uh, can you explain how to use V-Ray fog and uh, environmental fog to be precise, okay? So that's what we're going to do. All right, so we're going to start off by setting up a quick scene for that. So we'll just uh, create a polygon plane. We'll pull that out. We'll move to the back here. Right click, go to edge, take that edge and go to edit mesh and extrude. We'll hit W, we'll pull that up. And then we'll select that edge and go to edit mesh and bevel. We'll increase the number of segments to 10 and we'll decrease the fraction a bit like so. Okay, what we'll do is we'll right click go to object mode on this guy there we go assign new material we'll use a v-ray material because we're going to be working in v-ray and we'll just choose a basic v-ray material and then we'll take a polygon cube and we'll put that somewhere around there like so we'll set up our scene and do a bookmark so we'll set up our film gate here let's zoom in a bit we'll take a ground plane hit r and scale that out so it's covering our entire scene and we'll hit r on our cube and we'll kind of bring that down a bit smaller something like that okay let's bookmark this so we're going to go to view bookmark edit bookmark we'll call this new apply and close there we go so now if you're not familiar with that if I move this around and I want to go back to where I was I go to view bookmark new and boom there we are okay let's set up some lighting so we're gonna to go to create lights and we'll do a v-ray rectangular light and I'll just hit W and pull that up and out and I'm going to hit 7 on my keyboard. And just give me one sec here so I can just set that up properly. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go into our V-Ray Rectangular Light Shape. And we're going to scroll until we are at Invisible right here. I'll show you why. Um, if you hit your Render button right now, and I'll just hit Render. You can see this rectangle here. That's our light. We don't really want to see that. Okay, so we're going to hit stop. We're going to close that. We're going to select invisible. We're going to hit that again and re-render. And now you can see that without that rectangle. That's the deal. Okay, stop and close. We will hit Control D to duplicate. We'll pull that over and pull that up. And let's do a quick test render just to see what we got. Okay, that will take a sec, but that's fine. Okay, so as far as lighting is concerned, I'm okay with this. This is not a lighting tutorial. This is about our fog. Okay, so we're going to close that out. So nothing really going on uh, as yet with our fog. So we are going to first take our cube. And we're going to apply a uh, V-Ray material to it. So we're going to right click, assign new material, V-Ray, and we'll do a standard material. There we go. And we don't really want to see that material, but first we're going to plug in our uh, fog. Okay. So we're going to make sure that we are in our um, material here. We're going to go to our output channel. We're going to click on this and we're going to go to volume material and hit the checkered box. Okay. So now we can search for V-Ray environmental fog. There we go. Now you would expect to see the fog when we render this, but you will not, and I will show you. We're just gonna hit render once again. As you can see, still nothing going on. And the reason for that is that our uh, V-Ray standard material is visible and that's kind of blocking our fog, okay? So we're gonna stop that. We're gonna select our cube. And we're going to go to our standard V-Ray material. We're going to go to um, the uh, opacity. And we're going to pull that way down. So now this is completely transparent. Okay. 
So now, if we render, you will see that the structure is changing. And this is starting to look a lot more like a fog object, if you will. And we'll just give that a sec. Um, as you can see down here, the um, render time takes a bit longer. So I'll just quickly pause that. All right, there you go. And as you can see, it's quite um, dense. So what we can do is we can play with these settings, okay? So we're gonna minimize that. We're gonna go into our material and into our output channel because that's where our fog material is. And uh, we're gonna select V-Ray Environmental Fog 1. And here you have a couple of settings. You have your fog density and you have your fog distance, okay? Now, the uh, fog density is you know, kind of self-explanatory. So if we, let's say, update that to eight, and we do a quick re-render, which will look something like this, okay? Now, you can also uh, tweak the uh, fog distance. Now, that is pretty much the distance that light will travel through your fog. So if I were to uh, decrease this to, let's say, 0 0.2, and you can already see here in this sample here, 10 will give kind of a see-through, okay? 0 0.2 will make it much more dense, okay? Let's do a quick render. And here we go. And there you have it. You can see that this is almost a massive block, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to tweak that somewhat. Let's set this to 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a new object just a simple sphere and we're gonna oops we're gonna push that into our cube we'll just do four for wireframe mode so we can kind of see where it's at so let's put this in here like so and like so all right we're going to go back to our perspective view. We're going to go back to our bookmark. There we go. We're going to hit 5 for shaded mode. And let's try this as a render. Okay, here we go. I just uh, aborted that one, guys, because I want to tweak the setting just a little bit. So we're going to go to our output node again. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, sorry. On our material, output node. And our fog let's bring that to 6.5 okay and what i want to demonstrate is that you can use this fog for various things uh, i'll first do the render and then i'll explain okay so with the contrast of the sphere that i inserted you can clearly see that our cube is made of fog, if you will, okay? Now, if you were to increase the density of the fog and you were to um, uh, place the sphere a little bit backward, you could almost simulate an object sitting inside of a dark fluid, okay? So that's one of the things you can do with this. You can also use this fog, for example, to um, have a moving object made out of fog or even add a texture and kind of simulate a cloud type thing okay so that's what we're going to do next so we're going to minimize that we're going to pull out our oops sorry we're just going to take our sphere and get rid of that let's see yep it's gone fine so next what we're going to do is we're going to add some structure and texture to our fog Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our V-Ray material, we're going to go to our output channel, we're going to go to our fog, and we're going to go into our density, and we're going to hit this checkered box. Okay, this will allow us to add a texture into it. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll search for marble, and we'll pull that in. And we're actually going to leave the colors as is because I think that's kind of neat. We can, however, play with the width of the veins 
to give it a little bit more body, if you will. Let's see if we need to, yeah, we'll bring the diffusion back a little bit as well. Let's see, contrast, we'll bring that up. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now let's do a test on this, okay? We're gonna hit render, here we go again. All right, so right here you have a simulation of clouds, if you will. Or, for example, uh, if you have a stationary picture, a, a render, and you want to simulate a smoke in a room, something like that, you can use this, okay? Now, let's see, what else can we do? We are going to go into our... Uh, hang on, take that and let's go to our diffuse color let's see that's all the way opaque so we're going to go to our output map we're going to go to our fog and we're going to go way up here let's change the color of our fog let's do something that is fairly noticeable okay blue and let's do a render on that here we go all right like i said um colored smoke if you will um, so let's say we want to use this as kind of a sponge type material, okay? So in that case, what you do is, again, you select your object, you go in here into your settings, and we're going to play with the fog density. So we're going to bring that up, let's say to 1, if it wants to play ball. Looks like it does not. Okay, we'll bring the fog distance to 0 0.1 and it looks like I'm not able, oh, of course, because I plugged in the texture, I, I can't uh, change that. But by um, changing the fog distance, you'll get a dramatic difference. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, here you can see that it now suddenly looks more like a, uh, a flaky sponge or something like that. And um, that's just to demonstrate what you can do with uh, environmental fog. Okay, now to wrap up this tutorial, I'll just uh, pause the video and I will uh, set up a scene where I use this in a practical sense. And I'll just uh, show you what that looks like and then we can wrap this up. Okay, see you in a sec. All right, guys, well, here we go. Here's the practical use that I promised. Um, I created kind of a smoky ghost figure and uh, I put it in front of a wall. And what I'll do is I'll quickly run you through the steps uh, that I did to do this, okay? And it's pretty much what I explained so far, okay? So just to zoom out, I made a simple polygon cube. I put a 2D texture file on it and a bump map for the wall. And I assume that you know how that works. And if not, I got tutorials on how to do that. And then I took a character that I created in Make Human, and I did a uh, tutorial on that as well, where you can find that software and how to do that. I took uh, a couple of lights, set that up, took our guide right here, and assigned a V-Ray material to it. So right click, oops, right click, assign new material the V-Ray material right here. Then I went into that material. I went into the output node. First, I set the opacity to zero to make this all nice and transparent. I went into the output mode right here. I went down to the volume material, clicked on this guy right here, and looked for the volume, the V-Ray uh, environmental fog, plugged that in. I played with the settings on fog distance and density. And finally, on the fog density, I clicked on that and I plugged in the marble material. So that's pretty much it. So have fun with this. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to come up with some uh, creative applications for this. And uh, that said, thank you guys for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe and I'd love to see you guys again.